a unique Boston experience ends on a high note as churchgoers who prefer to worship in German or Latin say their goodbyes to their Sunday morning tradition. Before the mass began at Boston's historic Holy Trinity Church, parishioners heard the order themselves that the church would be shut down. Any chance Pratt Thacker was there and she joins us now. Pratt. Josh, this was the church so many families visited ever since they first emigrated to the U.S. So today was a tearful farewell for many of them. A crescendo rising above them, generations of parishioners filled the Holy Trinity German Church for the last mass in the foreseeable future as the Boston Archdiocese shuts down its oldest ethnic parish. It's sad. How many years have you worshipped here? Forty years. And two of my children were baptized. So it's hard. Holy Trinity's roots run deep. Established in 1844, it was the church that introduced the Christmas tree to Puritan Boston. Parishioners from around Massachusetts worshipped at the 164-year-old parish, which offered masses in English, German, and Latin. Until last year, for nearly two decades, it was the only church in the archdiocese to offer a Latin mass. A.J. Hungerford, the son of a German immigrant, came from Portland, Maine, to attend the final service. What does the Catholic community lose in losing this church? I think it loses part of its heritage. Um, I was, you know, baptized here and uh, Along with tears, there is also anger and disbelief among worshippers who say the 131-year-old church is a historic jewel. Holy Trinity was designed by renowned church architect Patrick Keeley with its gilded columns, color-drenched windows, and sculpture-bedecked walls. All of the items in this church were brought from Germany in the 1850s, 1870s by ship. It's a piece of heaven here. There's nothing in this church that can be duplicated. As far as I'm concerned, as long as O'Malley is behind the pulpit, they should change the name of the cathedral to the Cathedral of the Double Cross. Parishioners have 10 days to appeal the closure to Cardinal O'Malley. If it is denied, they can then appeal to Rome. Make a very a strong case to Rome, as strong as we can, that this is such a great loss to the Archdiocese and should be reversed. But for now, clutching onto hope and faith, they pushed back tears for a house of worship that had long become a home. Now, the appeal to Rome could take several years. Meanwhile, the decree officially goes into effect at noon tomorrow. That's when the archdiocese can change the locks and take over the church. Josh? All right, Pratt, thanks very much. Man, there was another sad farewell today. This one for parishioners of a Brockton, Massachusetts church. St. Casimir Catholic Church held its final mass today. But before doing so, parishioners voted not to allow high-ranking church officials to attend. And that's because they say those officials didn't do enough to keep the church open. Parishioners do plan to appeal the Archdiocese's decision to close the church, but that appeal could take years.